Hacker Replay Day. Every time we do Hacker Replay, I try to come up with a theme. Today's theme is Ubisoft's ineptitude. I know that's a big word for a lot of you. Most of you are still just getting out of kindergarten. Ineptitude. Dumb. Incompetence. That's also another big word. Because today's video, or today's Hacker Replay, is going to focus on two matches where the cheaters, from my understanding, I haven't watched yet, the cheaters have played over 400 ranked matches and not been banned. So in the first match, we have Visual M, who is the submitter. They are accusing Albanian and Maurice of cheating. And they have given us the, the real names and like links to their profiles so we can look them up without having to try to find the match or anything. Um, but reportedly, they are cheaters with like over 400 matches, which the reason why I mentioned incompetence at the beginning is how do you have a game like Siege, a very successful game with a, a lot of players, how do you have that game not have the ability to ban cheaters who are blatantly cheating, supposedly, after 400 games? If someone is suspicious of them after the 400 matches, they probably have enough reports that they should have been banned by now. But yet, they aren't. So, let's find out why that is. Or not, I guess not find out why that is, but let's see how blatant they are and how they still haven't been banned. I can tell Maurice is already trying to get an angle, but he can't figure out how to see him. Oh, Albanian actually already died. This is a five round match. They probably do some stupid shit. Like this. So, as you can tell, fairly blatant. I think majority of people, if they were to play against these two people, would probably at some point say, wow, these guys are cheating, and then report them, right? So we can only assume these players have been reported numerous times. Let's watch the Rook, who is now eyeing up someone through the wall. I wonder how well they know this game, because it looks like they don't really understand the map. They keep moving around and they seem confused when there's a wall in their way. And their aim isn't good. He just tried to shoot the thermite through the hard wall because he doesn't understand that thermite's on mezzanine. And just tried to shoot the Bravo through the wall because he doesn't understand there's a hard wall there. He just saw them as well and just... Do you think it understands the concept of fire? Oh my god. I really hope he loses this fight. That would be hilarious. Oh my god, he's impacting himself. Oh my god, bro. He lost the fight. <sighs> so, as you can tell, they're not great cheaters. I don't even think they really understand the map. They are struggling. They clearly don't know what are hard walls, what are not, etc. Very blatantly cheating. Now, let's let's look at their stats. Okay, so we have the first cheater here. This one is Albanian. Adnan a I B um, went from a plat to a champ. Four hundred and eighty matches played this season, blatantly cheating. Champ number five hundred and forty-seven in the world. Okay, how does it get to the point in siege where they can't even detect that this person is cheating? Level 146, never been champ before, 
500 games cheating and not banned. Now the other guy, who was more Reese, is Oz, Zo, Oz, Zo, Oz. Champ number 4, or 705, 4,642 ELO in. Consistent gold for six seasons. Champ. How does this happen? 221 matches played. It also says his standard kitty is a 3.8. I wish I could see how many matches he's played of standard, because they don't really show that anymore. That is insane. So two top 1,000 champs with 480 matches, 221 matches, neither of them banned. Ubisoft explain. How are they not banned? And this guy even played with a cheater. And another cheater. And another cheater. This guy played with the same cheater. I think that's the same cheater as well, right? No, it's a different cheater. If you're playing with these cheaters, like... Shouldn't Ubisoft also flag that? <laughs> I don't know, this is... It's just depressing. I tweeted out about how cheaters have taken Siege over again. Because for a little bit, it was actually pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Cheating was at an almost minimum for about two weeks. Uh, I don't think I ran into like a single cheater. And then the last week, I've run into... I was keeping tab, I think it's either seven or eight cheaters in standard. Not even in ranked, I haven't been playing ranked because ranked is terrible right now. Even Evan. Evan, who loves ranked and always wants us to play ranked, he joined us yesterday because he said, I don't want to join the ranked stack, it's just going to be cheaters. And he plays standard with us because that's how bad it is. People don't even want to play ranked anymore. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. <clears throat> cheaters have just taken it back over. What they're doing, I don't know. Ubisoft needs to do something to prevent cheaters from just easily queuing into ranked. One suggestion... I don't know how many people will like this, but one suggestion that Evan gave was that you have to be like level 200 to play ranked premium or whatever. Uh, that way, people can still play ranked if they want to, but they might run into more cheaters. Personally, my personal preference is do what Counter-Strike did, which I know there's still a lot of cheaters in Counter-Strike, but I believe if you do the Counter-Strike Prime matchmaking or whatever, I think it's like you pay $10, you get better lobbies and less cheaters. Because cheaters don't want to pay every single new account. They just want to buy the account, play ranked, and then leave. So if they did that, that would be nice. I know not many people want to spend extra money on the game. But it would be nice if you could at least like pay your way into a premium matchmaking that would have hopefully less cheaters. Also, I see some people in chat saying suggestions. IP bans do not work. Let me explain to you. So an IP ban, your computer has an IP address. How do you change that IP address? You restart your modem. Once you restart your modem, PC has a new IP address in most cases. So if you IP ban someone, they restart their modem, they can play again. Doesn't change anything. And then anyone else who gets the new IP address, because IP addresses are recycled, they can't play anymore. IP bans do not work. Hardware ID bans are another option, but they're also easily spoofable. Not a good option. Honestly, the only way to like reliably, I guess, limit cheaters is to one, again, if if people are playing like this many matches, like you need a stricter system where it's like, hey, this person's been reported probably over 400 times. They should be banned. Make it where like if someone's been reported 50 times in a week, flag the account. The account is put on hold. They can't play until it's investigated. Someone from Ubisoft manually reviews the account. If they determine it to be suspicious, ban the account. If it's not suspicious, remove the flag, allow them to play again. I know people are going to be like, well, that would be so annoying if that happened to you. Guys, you're not that good. It's not going to happen to you. You will not have the system flag you. You're trash. This is only going to affect cheaters who are blatant, because they're going to actually get reported a shit ton. Because in no, no world should someone be able to play 480 matches while blatantly cheating. I assume they won, by the way. Yes, they did. They didn't even get that many kills, only 7 each. I know it was a short match, but it's kind of sad. But blatantly tracking people through walls, still not banned. 480 matches of doing that, still not banned. That is match number one, done.
Before we get into the second match of the video, I want to take a minute to talk about today's sponsor, War Thunder. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made, with over 2,500 vehicles you can command, ranging from the 1920s all the way to modern day. And my personal favorite feature they have is that each of their 2,500 vehicles has incredibly accurate damage models. It's not just a box with hit points, each vehicle has individual components that can be broken or damaged in many different ways. It's like if you could break Ash's legs by shooting them and put Ash mains in their place. Join the community of over 70 million players for epic PvP battles and an unimaginable wealth of content to discover. Download and play War Thunder for free today on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox by using my link in the pinned comment or video description. New and returning players that haven't played in six months will also receive a massive bonus pack that includes multiple premium vehicles, the exclusive vehicle decorator Eagle of Valor, and 100,000 Silver Lions, and 7 days of premium account. This bonus pack is only available for a limited time, so download today. Thanks to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video, and let's get back into the match replays. Now continuing the theme of cheaters not being banned, match number two, Nighthaven Labs. In this match, we have Rump Shaker 114, who's given me their real name, so I can l hopefully look for the match, is reporting Shiko, Jiko of cheating, and they're boosting Liko. Very nice of them to make all their names similar so that if they are cheating, we know that they're all cute together. Mori's suspicious of the Twitch F2. Not even pros run this thing because it's so bad. Oh, there's just no scope there. Oh, Jiko's dead. All right, he, well, he's walling. He, he looked right at the Womai. What did Jiko do? How did he die? Oh, he tried to pre-fire. Bro, hold on. Okay, look at his aim. So, he tries to pre-fire. Bro, he is shooting the floor. And then he can't control the recoil. Look at how high up it goes. That is terrible. I love it. The excuse is already coming out from TikTok chat. That's just a common place to hide, though. Bro, he didn't check any of the other spots in the entire room. He just knew that the room was safe with zero drones. He looks at someone through the wall and pre-fires. It's just a common spot. Bro, you would check everything else. They are blatantly cheating, and they are bad. Which will probably then feed into the whole thing of why they haven't been banned. Is probably they didn't get reported enough, because they are probably not as blatant, as, at least as the last match. Let's see what they do this round. It did feel like what the Twitch was doing since they were standing still, they might have just been activating cheats. Uh, because now with the new like cloud-based cheating thing, a lot of people would load into the match and then turn on their cheats, which is why they like stand still for a bit and just do nothing. That might be what Twitch is doing. Okay, doesn't seem to be able to control the F2. Which I feel like is going to be a disaster when he actually tries to push them. That looked fine. It wasn't a suspicious kill. Even though we know they're cheating. That one wasn't that suspicious. I, I can't wait. Someone chat? I was going to say. Common pre-fire spot. Get someone through the wall. Even they did a little head shake to try to be like, what the hell? What did I just do? But the, the Twitch is clearly like... Oh, he's like aimbotting. He just killed the Mira there. Look, he was aiming at the Tuberau through the wall. Oh no, he downed the Mira beforehand. Never mind. But it didn't... I'm, I'm gonna be honest, it didn't even look like those shots connected. But I mean, he basically aimbotted the, the bandit. Bro, all you can see is, like, her elbow. Yeah, and he's, like, hitting her while aiming up here. Dude's got them aim cheats. Jiko, I assume, is cheating, too, solely because, like, their names are the same. They're cute together. They must be both cheating. Liko seems lost. But he's obviously cute with them, since he has the same name. Let's go to last round. And then we'll see if we can find this match, see if we can find their stats, but I doubt it. Wait, they lost? 
The cheater's lost. How? He's like using aim cheats. He's even like just looking at them through the wall. He's not even trying to hide it. Common pre fire spot though. I wonder if his inability, or his, I guess, weakness of tunnel visioning on the people he's trying to focus on is going to be his downfall. I just want to know how they lose. Like, two cheaters? Does he have the... I can't tell if he has the sliding cheats or not. We faced a cab with these cheats the other day. They basically just like... They stand there, but they slide across the ground, and then they just hit fire wherever you are, and they kill you. But he was actually aiming. You can usually tell by the movement, but... Looks like his movement's fine. No, it's just normal. He's just got walls and aim cheats, but... He just... Not have the the weird movement ones or the sliding ones. Oh, I think he has. Hold on, let me see. Does Monty actually get hit by that? We we had that also. The same lobby that was cheating. Evan was talking about how Cav was shooting or trying to shoot through the wall because he could see the smoke. Like if say Cav was right here, he could see the smoke puffs coming through because she was clearly trying to shoot him. But you can't shoot through a hard wall. Oh, it actually does go through the wall. That is insane. Wait, so he has... He has these cheats that can go through a wall with, like, aimbot and wall hacks. And he... loses? Oh, weird. He, he did aim at Blitz's back, but it didn't actually do any damage. So maybe that's why. I th maybe he cheaped out on cheats. Oh, he's shooting while reloading. This guy definitely got like the budget cheats. Like $5 a year for those, not the $15 a day cheats. Okay. Chico somehow it gives them the advantage and they still lose. Chico is the other reported cheater. He has, I'm fairly certain, walls, but probably not the same cheats as Chico, and then Liko is just a bot that they're boosting. So, hold on. Can we talk about how Melusi just got two knife kills? Huh. Okay. And then he doesn't even look at the IQ. He just dies. And IQ clearly clutches out because they win. That nade kills. Oh, it doesn't. Captain tried to go for a knife again. Almost actually got it. So, that is insane how you can be blatantly cheating and still lose. Even with, like, your random teammate, I assume, I don't think Melosi was with them, Capan, getting two knife kills to try to put you into overtime and you still lose. Was the IQ cheating? Honestly, I was, I was a little suspicious at the end there, but I'm sure she's fine. Okay, so this is the match. Yeah, because Sax, Sax Trillish is in the match in NA Sulfide as well, and they're on his team. So who on the enemy team is the cheaters? I'm going to guess Billy Wonder and Mershrex. Why should I play? Wait, we know Capan is a random. Oh, and so is Cremo. Okay, so it's the people who are not Capan or Cremo. 447 matches played. 
while blatantly cheating, running out, aiming at people through walls, pre-firing, hip-firing, aimbotting, whatever you want to call it. Not banned. His cheating duo, 679 matches, blatantly cheating for almost 700 matches. Still not banned. And then the people, or the person they're boosting, Diamond with a negative KD, 200 matches. 8 KD is insane, but I think that's inflated. He probably only played like one standard match and that's it. And you can't see standard stats anymore, so. Blatantly cheating, 600 matches. How Ubisoft thinks that that is perfectly fine to just let it slide, I do not know. They need to shape up and actually get rid of blatant cheaters. You should not let them cheat for 400 matches. And I know, I've talked about this before, Ubisoft has historically said, we allow cheaters to keep cheating and then ban them like a week after we find out about them because we don't want them to know how we caught them. In theory, oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Like, if you ban them as soon as you find out what's wrong, they're gonna be like, oh, I turned on this cheat and I got insta-banned. It's this cheat that's the problem, and then they'll react to it. But letting them cheat for like an entire season before you ban them is, is not the play, I gotta say. You gotta be a little bit faster. So hopefully they actually do get banned. I might actually manually report these two. I normally don't report many people from my hacker replays manually because it takes a long time. It's just usually not really worth it because most of them get banned. But the fact that neither of those two have been banned, actually neither of those four from the two matches have been banned with like almost 2,000 matches between the four of them, I might have to manually report that and get them banned because that is insane. The next four matches should not be, you know, blatant cheaters that have been cheating for 400 matches. These should be hopefully ones that we can actually try to, I guess, determine if they're actually cheating or not. In this match we have Bunts414 accusing Rage Tio. Ooh, I'm already... I don't know, Tachanka. Tachanka's a little suspicious. I remember when... Uh, before Tachanka got reworked, literally the only people that would play Tachanka would be cheaters. What the fuck is he doing? Enough of that, I guess. 45 seconds spent trying to figure that out. Uh-oh, guys. He's looking through the floors. Let's hope he's looking for drones. Oh my god. His aim. He's looking through the walls. Guys, a little. This looks like I'm a little suspicious, and then he just almost tries to run past the cappy towel. We'll keep watching. My guess, we're only round one, but my guess, new cheater, or new player with cheats. He is tunnel visioning on seeing people through walls, as you can tell when he runs around the map and just like stares at nothing, and he's just looking where they're going, but he doesn't know the maps, so he is just very lost on where everyone is. That's why he tunnel visions and dies. Cool, we'll see. Uh, thank you for the sub, by the way, from Zelux. Did he just track an ADS through the wall? Oh. We'll, we'll see. We'll look more at it later, see if we can find anything. But you know what he could have? There's a cheat where you can see every gadget across the entire map. 
Okay, he's cheating. It He's just staring at them through the floors and running out on them. He is cheating. <laughs> and he sucks. So, definitely a cheater. Let's watch the last round. Yeah, I think he has gadget walls too. So there's normal walls where you can see people through walls, and then there's a new cheat, well, new ish. It's been like around for six months, where you can see gadgets through the wall, and then that way you know if there's a cap can trap, if there's frost mats or whatever. You know, like when someone pings a gadget and it has like that little circle with the line or the arrow, it does that for every single gadget across the entire map, friendly or enemy. So people will hunt drones that way, they'll hunt cap can traps and frost mats that way as a cheater. He just tried to shoot a drone through a hard wall. Nice. Was he being team killed? No. Uh, thank you for some primordial. I actually don't know whether the cheater wins or not because does go to overtime and standard. That's that's some good headset right there. He's uh he's looking at the what was that capital through the floor or roof rather. He gets the double. His aim was pretty bad, but he got the double. Hold on. I want to take a second to acknowledge this, this Mira strat. And they say innovation is dead. If you just get downed. Wait, what? Fuse got downed on a window outside where no one hit him. Oh no. Gotcha. And then Cav went over there to finish him. Okay. There's no way that the buck clutches a 1v4 against a cheater. Surely. Nope. Okay. Rage TO. Cheating. Plainly. Uh, only in standard though. I assume probably under level 50. He's level 42. With a negative KD? He must have just started cheating. How do you have a negative KD? This was his match that we just saw. 12 and 5. Yeah, he only just started cheating. So he had a... He played 92 matches of standard in April with a negative KD. And then I think that was the first match where he started cheating. So he has only been cheating for 10 matches. And as you can tell, his KD went from a 0 0.79 to a like 2.4, 2.08, 1.63. Big glow up, big glow up. So unfortunately that was another obvious match. I was hoping we would start to actually like analyze a few. But we'll move on to the fourth match. In this match, we have Loon. 216 who's accusing smurfin.gov a government employee all right so ash actually droned that is new i don't think a single cheater today has droned well okay you you always have some hope that they won't be cheating and then they just do do that. So he's very likely cheating. He just aimed the Valkyrie through the wall. Knows that they're in there. Pings them so his team kills them instead of him. He's aiming at crouch level in the cap can, thinking he was about to go through the door, but he's actually putting down cap can traps. He 
Is he just staring at the rook? Bruh. This is what I find so funny about cheats. People are too afraid to push because they can see where everyone is. Oh, and he just shot the mute through the smoke. Crazy how he knew. He thought he headshotted him. They actually maybe lose the round because of this? Because of his... In or Yeah, they lose the round because of his aggressiveness. Um, yeah, that's a very common thing with cheaters is that they will tunnel vision so hard that they're too afraid to do anything. So like there he was, he saw the rook in Geisha, he saw the mute at the end of the hall, and he was too afraid to push because he's like, oh, like if I push up, the other one's going to peek me and they know where everyone is. Real chads like me and Evan, who have zero concern for our lives, just run in and if we die, we die. I would say some other people like Kit and Ben, but I think they're a bit too afraid to do that. I've watched Ben play, and the amount of times I have to tell him to stop panicking is too damn high. So this guy is definitely a cheater, but a cheater who drones, so that's a step up at least. Crazy reaction time on a rush. I'm sure you could argue that he would be able to hear the cap cam putting down the traps, but... I'll skip to round six after this round, because he is cheating. Wait. Oh, I thought the guy was just floating. I forgot that room goes down a bit. Oh, this is the worst when people cheat, but then they go on drones to try to pretend like they're not cheating. They're like, yeah, I saw you on drone. Obviously, I knew you were going to swing. Oh, he's just, he's just tracking the view. <laughs> They do put in an effort to try to make it look like they're not cheating, but then as soon as you watch match replay, it's so obvious. Damn. Then he died. Alright. Last round. Let's see what happens. Cheater who drones. Well, man, that's some class. They just do it as a way to try to make themselves seem innocent. Because if you drone, then you can always be like, oh, I saw you. It's the same thing. Like Cheaters used to only run Pulse and Valkyrie because they'd be like, I saw you on... Scanner, I saw you on drone, or I saw you on camera, and they just use a million excuses. And that was before match replay was a thing, so you couldn't even confirm if that was true or not. You just have to assume they were telling the truth. But here, with match replay, we can see when he was trying to line up that nook through the wall. They always... They always drop the ball, because we can tell in match replay. He is tunnel visioning hard. But it doesn't matter if they swing him, he can shoot them one by one. Oh, oh. Uh, how did he know? Chat. Is this just game sense? Maybe, maybe I just need a better headset to be able to line people up like that through the wall. Common pre-fire spot. True! Ah, oh, I always forget, like, I, I, I don't know the common pre-fires. That's just, like, a common spot for any nook to hide in. That's Siege 101. Ends it with a quad. So, cheating, obviously. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to even find this match. He didn't submit the real name, so... No R6 tracker. Okay, can't find the, the cheater, but... They are cheating. Quite unfortunate. So four obvious cheaters and obvious matches. In this match, we have Bad For You, who's accusing he he 232-9268. And they actually gave us their real name, so we can look them up after. What happened to subtle cheating, at least? I'm torn though, like, okay, what, what would you guys prefer? Would you prefer someone to be blatantly cheating and you just know it and you're not going to waste your time? Or would you prefer someone to be subtle about it and then later, weeks later when they get banned, you get MMR back and you're like, what the fuck was that from? I think I'd prefer the obvious. Don't waste our time. 
four zero me, just spin bot, fly in the sky, kill everyone with an airstrike, end the match. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be playing che cheaters. There's nothing worse than being in a like subtle lobby and the match goes to nine rounds. It's like we just wasted all of our time for that. Now it is nice when you win, but it's also just a waste of time. Because like we had that match. Okay, we had that match not that long ago, which I think the video's not even up yet on YouTube, but where Evan said that he thought someone on the enemy team was cheating. And then he's like, no, he has to be cheating. And then we beat him. And then I looked at, back in the match and I was like, I'm pretty sure he's cheating. He did the thing where he like ran into the map with like no knowledge, stared at me in a corner, swings the corner, pre-fires me, sprints across the map without droning anything else. So I was like, yeah, he's probably cheating. But he was pretty subtle about it throughout the match other than that. And I realized this was just a waste of time. At least we won though. This seems lost. Okay, two rounds in a row. Dies before getting a kill. Did he toggle on? Why was he reported? I don't know. He hasn't droned once. That is a strike against him. And it's ranked. It's not like it's standard where people don't drone at all because they just don't care. Usually in ranked people care enough to at least drone. I'm going to have to make another friend rare video when his elite skin comes out, which I assume will probably be soon. Probably like Tuesday or next Tuesday. Because we haven't had an elite skin this season yet, have we? We had one at the end of last season. Um, oh, it was Ying. Have we had a, an elite skin this season? We got Nook. Wasn't that last season? I don't know, man. I'm getting old. Everything blends together. I swear Nook was last season. No? Oh. It was this season? Wow. I guess I remember the video. That was the match where me and Peter played and I dropped like 15 kills to keep us in it and <laughs> the rest of our team did nothing. Oh no, guys. So far, I don't think this guy's cheating. He hasn't looked at anyone through walls. He hasn't... He's barely hit anyone. And he's died twice to people just peeking him and he doesn't react. There he gets a, a kill. Good job. And last one's above and he has no idea from the looks of it. I don't know. I don't think he's shooting. But maybe he toggles on. Okay. I don't know if you guys would agree, but I would say, from what we saw in the first three rounds, his recoil suddenly just got better. It was only a small burst, it's hard to tell from just that. But it did look like his MP5 had almost no recoil. Granted, it's an MP5, they don't have much kick to begin with. Well, I'm a little concerned just because he was AFK. Is recoil is more normal. He's also moving so much that's giving me a headache. If he is cheating, it doesn't seem like he has wall hacks or aimbots because he just still doesn't seem to know where anyone is. It does seem like that, but I'm also always hesitant to use that as proof because you can obviously very easily fake not knowing where someone is. If you're in what the situation is, a 5v2, 
get a ping from his teammate. If you're in a situation that's a 5v2, and then you just see where the two people are, you look the other way and hold an angle that they're not going to push through, and then suddenly it's like, oh, well, you're not suspicious. That doesn't mean that he is cheating, it just means that n not looking at them isn't proof that they're not cheating. I do think he's fine, though. Unless, again, he does something crazy. He could do something crazy. He, uh, I was looking at chat. What did he do? Okay. He just wall banked someone he didn't even know was there. He is struggling to aim, though. I feel like he might have just got lucky there. Something people need to get through their heads. It's possible for anyone to buy a level 200 account and throw a few rounds to make it not look sus. Yeah. That's one of the annoying things because cheaters will consistently do that where they will just throw rounds because if you win every single match for zero, obviously the system's going to be like, hey, this guy's cheating. But if you win 67% of your matches, five to three, it's not going to auto flag you. Just like losing or dying does not mean someone's not cheating. Again, it's not to say that this person is cheating, it's just people are trying to say that that's proof and it's not. I feel like if he was cheating though, I feel like he would have pre-fired the Yana at crouch level since... Or at least like hit her instead of just whiffing everything. I don't know, I think he's fine. He just saw her skirt. The mirror is down to 70 bullets by the way. And gets downed. Did he really just peek instead of going for the revive? That is tough scenes for blue team. Okay. I don't really care who wins the round because the accused person is dead. Okay. I figured that would be the one where they report him off of it, but no report yet. What's crazy is they lose this round, the blue team. I guess they all rush in, peeking one by one and die, probably. They let the guy... Oh. The yellow team kills. Okay. Yeah, the kill on Yana was weird. But it did look like he was just pre-firing consistently. The fact that he actually managed to get a kill onto Yana is... Insane. He's also only 5 and 4, so... Keep getting pings from the orange team, which I don't necessarily want. It gets confusing when I'm trying to see what he can see. Can't remember, does it go to eight rounds or nine rounds? Nine rounds. I don't think he's cheating. Like, he just ran past the clash. I feel like he, he would have checked. You could even, like, fake being legit. Like, if he was cheating, you could check that corner and people wouldn't assume you're cheating because it's just checking a corner as you walk in. He just ran in. I can't imagine intentionally throwing that round just to be less suspicious. I, I think he's fine. Keep in mind, by the way, Orange Team has been down a person for, like, what, seven rounds? The guy left in round two, probably. So, five rounds. And they are, they're in the lead right now.
honestly good on them. The ten toe tickler. Also, I'll throw out there, I feel like if he was cheating, this would probably be the round to cheat in, right? Like, you're on match point, about to lose. You should be cheating, but I didn't see anything crazy there, so why would you not cheat on round 8, but then cheat on round 9? Doesn't make sense. So I think he's fine, but we have to watch the last round just in case. Cap can Tachanka clash and mute. Basically the turtle combo. Clash is dead. I think that is GG's. I don't think you come back from that when you're turtling and you lose your clash. Oh, I think that was fine. We have his real name, so I can look up his stats. Watch this. Oh, bro, imagine if I look at his stats and he has like a 7.0 KD. Like, oh, that would be so annoying. Uh, 1.1 KD in silver after 200 matches. Previously copper with a 0 0.3. So I could kind of get where they're coming from if they were like, wow, he went from a copper with a low KD to a silver with a normal KD. That's weird. But it also doesn't mean that he's cheating. Let's see. Did he play at all in the previous seasons? No, he took a full year break. I mean, yeah, a full year break coming back and having a much higher KD is weird. It might just be a, a sold account, but not every single purchased account is to cheat on. Some people just buy accounts because they don't want to level it up. Okay, match number five, done. Uh, last match of the day, this Skyscraper match. In this match, we have I'm Fat 51 Hey, chat, it's you guys. Uh, who accused... Ranked. His name is... Just Ranked. Um, recently... I will say that there have been a decent amount of cheaters that we have personally ran into... That have very... Plain names. For example, just the other day, we faced uh, someone who was like... Blatantly wall hacking, like you're running out and killing everyone type of cheat. And their name was Won't. W O N T, but with an apostrophe. I don't know how they got the apostrophe. Uh, so, I think people might have just like recently purchased a bunch of names and then sold them. Because there are some services that will do that. They'll just like steal accounts, change the username so that, that username is now available, and then they sell it to the highest bidder. The fact that he has just the name ranked could be part of that, but I haven't seen anything yet. Good recoil control. Weird flick away while aim down sight. Is it the gold dust skin on his AK? Let's see. I think it is. Actually, no, I think that's the R6 Pro League one. Because it has the 6 on the back. And R6 Pro League, for some reason, thinks carbon fiber <coughs> looks cool on gun skins when it doesn't. <laughs> Give me suck, please, is that guy's name. 10 out of 10 name. Only thing to note is, uh, why did he not check any of karaoke? Why did he just assume it's completely clear? No one's on drones, so they would have no intel on that. But he just walked in, not even concerned.
Other than that, he's been fine. Both those kills have been headshots so far. Mental note of that. You can just hear the lesions cycling through every camp possible. Okay. This situation should be impossible for Orange team to lose. Maybe not with that fire. Say a clash and an Aruni together. Should be, yeah, I was gonna say, a free win. Seemed fine, other than, again, I mentioned he walked in without checking a certain room and he knew it was safe. Because, like, even when I'm, like, trying to be aggressive and rush in, and I'm like, oh yeah, I, I'm taking sight, I will check the room just to make sure. Because someone could be hiding in a corner, but he did not check anything. Also, keep in mind, this is a uh, a standard match. So if the ranked guy is infinitely better than the orange team, it could just be standard matchmaking. Standard matchmaking used to be facing like similar skilled players against each other, but now it's standard matchmaking is literally just like grab the first 10 people you can find and put them in a match together. So you get like coppers versus champs. It's insane. Thank you, Varsity, for giving me one out and not eight, because almost every streamer does. Uh, I don't personally run ads on the channel. The only ads I ever run are when someone redeems the one-minute ad. Uh, because, personally, as someone who has watched Twitch streams before, it is really fucking annoying when you go into someone's stream and then you just get one minute of ads. Two minutes of stream, one minute of ads. It's like, bro, give me... Give me the stream. I don't want to watch ads all the time. So, I don't like to run them. But I let the chat claim them if they want. Alright, so chat. First instance of something suspicious. Was that just tree fire that went wrong? Or did he try to aim at the two-brow through the wall? Uh... Initial guess is just coincidence. We'll see if that happens again. Not the 360s. I am always immediately suspicious of the 360s. It's a cheater thing. Just like, uh... What were we talking... Oh, it was, yeah, it was me and Evan. We were talking about how... He says that his go-to suspicion if someone's cheating is if they just talk shit for zero reason. Like, absolutely no one is saying anything, and then he's just like, yeah, you guys are fucking garbage. It was like, that's a cheater thing. For me, it's the 360s. Just walking through the map and then just 360 on the spawn is not normal. Actually checking corners, though, which is good. As we mentioned before, a lot of cheaters will just walk through and not check anything. He's checking most things. Not all of them, but most things. I think it's like the third time now that he's done it where when he kills someone, he keeps shooting the body. Like a full second or two after they die. Like what's bro doing? He had the early kill on Ash and hasn't really done much else since. I feel like, at least from what I've seen so far, it almost feels like a skill issue. Or skill difference, rather. Other than the one round where he shot at Tubrow through the wall, he hasn't done anything. And I can easily excuse that whole shooting Tubrow through the wall thing because... He saw Tuber out in small office and he just quick peeked and pre-fired. We might get some more evidence of whether he's suspicious or not here on the glass. If the glass pushes him, smokes, and then the Aruni shoots him through the smoke perfectly, it's a little sus. 
That's fairly sus. Oh. Could have actually shot Monty's head there. He's looking right at it. trying to do here. I, th I don't even think he knows what he's trying to do here. Because he's constantly checking behind him. No one's over there. Also a good sign for not cheating. Because that means that he's un unsure of whether someone could flank him or not. What do you think about this? Monty nerf. Everyone hates Monty, so we need to nerf him. <clears throat> a Rooney? Only a Rooney, no one else. Should be able to punch Monty with her robot arm. It goes through the shield. Okay, I know what you're thinking. That seems weird. The next part. You go through the shield. She grabs the shield, uses it for herself with DMR hip fire. I like it. Also, killed Glass the same way he's killed everyone else. He keeps peeking doors, aimed at head level, as soon as they peek, takes their head off. I'm pretty sure seven of their nine kills have all been headshots. Dub idea, I know. I'm full of dub ideas. The fact that he didn't try to shoot the Monty through the smoke is a good sign that he's not cheating. I feel like if you were cheating, you probably would have just killed them. His reactions are pretty insane. I think every single person he's killed has been on a door that the millisecond they peek, he takes their head off. Because that was another headshot. But I wonder if it's the same thing. I, I know everyone else, just like me, has been in the situation. It's so annoying where you peek and you can see them for a millisecond but they can see you for like 10 seconds and they have so much time to line you up so it could be that where maybe on the match replay it looks like it's instant but for him he actually has seen them for a while the fact that he's also saving KD in standard makes me feel like he probably is just better and is trying to dunk on them for a KD boost I don't know For once, oh, never mind. I was gonna say, for once, he's not aimed at head level. I forgot there's a step down there, and it was perfectly aimed at head level. If I had to take a guess, I feel like this guy's probably gonna be a champ based on how his aim is always head level no matter what. Because I don't think I've seen him once aim lower. He's gotta, he's gotta become a body shot Bobby like me. Always aim for the body. And then with lucky recoil, you get a headshot. And then people get mad at you. He wins that fight? Hold on. Lion. Why'd you just not shoot him? He's detected outside. You pre-fire this. The guy was aiming at the, like, the ceiling. I... <sighs> I genuinely think this is just a, a skill issue, and I think the enemy team is not that good. And ranked is just taking advantage of it. Had plenty of matches like this where the enemy team is just coppers. Also, Ben cursed it. He said that this was a fast hacker replay, and then here we are at an hour, almost 30. I think most hacker replays are around 50 to 60 minutes. Actually, maybe they're all like an hour and a half, and then I just really edit them down.
This guy does my uh, my least favorite. Okay. <laughs> he does my least favorite siege thing, which is quick peeking, where you can only see someone's elbow, and then that's it. Uh, I assume orange team wins. They do. His name was just ranked. Um, he already got banned for cheating. It does make sense with his like insanely fast reaction time on every single person he peaked, but he has been banned. From what I saw, I don't know if I would have like personally reported him. He was really good, which makes sense now if he was cheating. But I never saw anything that I would have been like, oh yeah, this guy's blatantly cheating. So the fact that he got banned is surprising. Probably just the stats. A 2k DN ranked, but it's only 30 matches. I mean, he had like a normal progression. Plot, plot, diamond, 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 diamond champ. So, I don't know. I guess, I guess he's banned. I, I'm a little surprised. I thought he was fine. Turns out he's cheating. That's it for Hacker Replay today. So, only one person... Wait, Hold on, can we talk about that for a second? So the beginning, the whole point of this hacker replay and the theme of it at the beginning was that we had two matches where four different cheaters all played 400, 200, 700 matches of rank this season and none of them had been banned and they were blatantly cheating. That guy, who I would perf or personally argue is not blatantly cheating, gets banned after 30 ranked matches. How did he get banned so quick? But then... Someone cheating for 700 matches with aimbot, wall hacks, everything under the sun doesn't get banned. Make it make sense. I don't get it. What a great way to round out the video. Don't forget to download today's sponsor, War Thunder, by clicking the link in the description or the pinned comment. And if you're a new or returning player, you'll get this bonus pack when clicking the link. But it's only available for a limited time, so click it now. Download it today for PC, PlayStation, or Xbox.